Get back, old devil, and don't come round no more. Get back, old devil, and don't come round no more. Get back, old devil, ain't no joke, no lie this time. Look upon your shelf and bait your dirty self. Some Lord Earl's scoundrel been fishing in my pond. Some Lord Earl's scoundrel been fishing in my pond. Some Lord Earl's scoundrel been fishing in my pond. No catch for my fish and left me the bones to ride. Watch a walk with a woman, a man she can rob and steal. Watch a walk with a woman, a man she can rob and steal. Watch a walk with a woman, it ain't no joke, no lie this time. She can rob and steal, she won't know you're in the dark when she feels. Get back, old devil, and don't come round no more. Get back, old devil, and don't come round no more. Get back, old devil, there ain't no joke, no lie this time. Look upon your shelf and get your rival soap and bait your dirty self. Okay, this is the lesson for Old Devil by Bo Carter. And I played more, uh, well, it's a mix of styles that I do. Um, there's the version of Woody Man, which he recorded when he was really young. I'll put some more information uh, in the video description. And of course, Bo Carter's uh, version himself. And he plays it slightly slower, and Woody Man plays it a little bit faster. But Woody Man doesn't use all the elements that Bo Carter uses. So I lean more to Bo Carter's version, but at the speed of um, Woody Man. Also the solo is more in the style of Woody Man. Okay, um, we're so in standard tuning. Here are my E's. And let's start with the first two bars. And we have a slide, well, from the seventh or the twelfth fret downwards and I'm going into that hammer on on the first fret third string. Repeat that. And sometimes I use a trill, sometimes the long hammer on. choice there to add some variation and that's introduction and the singing is over well a sort of weird uh, chord uh, he switches between and I only fret the third string fourth string uh, third string fourth fret and the fifth string fourth fret and I'm rocking between that the fourth fret and the second fret and you see, I mute the fourth string, uh, the open fourth string, because if you play that, it sounds pretty horrible. So I'm muting that by tilting my fretting finger here, 
so it doesn't uh, sound. And I play it, I try to keep it short and it's more a groove, uh, I'm like the Mississippi Hill uh, guys, R.L. Burnside and so. So I think Bo Carter was a, a predecessor of that style. Uh, he was very versatile, so. So it's down and up with the index and down with the temp. So the index doesn't play that second beat of the third measure and so on. So Play that for two times, well, four uh, uh, measures and then we go into the same. Get back, old devil, and don't come round no more. So, and well, you can hear, of course, uh, when I sing it, uh, when, when to start and when to end. So, go back, old devil, and don't come round no more. And then we have uh, in the seventh bar on the, in the tap, uh, this is what uh, Woody Man doesn't play and what Bo plays. So after the first line of lyrics he plays this as a sort of uh, E7 and the, the alternating bass goes between the uh, sixth string and the fourth string, uh, sorry, the third string. And I mute slightly, uh, don't play it open like Slightly muted with my uh, right hand palm. That goes for the whole song, by the way. Here, it's not open. I'm gonna need two fingers here. And then we go to an A chord, strange A chord, standard A chord, uh, flatting the second, third, and fourth string on the second fret, but we're adding the third finger, the ring finger, to the fifth string, fourth fret. And this is the chord that you get when you play in open E or open D, and you go to the four chord, it's like this, and it has the same sound as this one. And that's one of the characteristics of uh, Bo Carter. He uses a lot of elements, um, let's say riffs and licks, in different tunings, um, but they amount to the same thing. So you're gonna hear repeats in different tunings, the same thing in different tunings, uh, and different keys also. Okay, so. So, also keep it short, and you see my left hand moving up and down to mute. Because if you. That doesn't sound good. And you can even move up so that you have that open second string for a while. It's not mandatory. I can't remember if I did it in the uh, performance video, but it's an option. So, and then we go back to uh, bars one and two. And for the end phrase, get back, old devil, it ain't no joke, no lie this time. Look upon your shelf and pay your dirty self. We go again. That rocking sort of B7 chord moved up for the fourth fret, well, a partial B7. Of only the fourth string, uh, the fifth string, and the third string on the fourth fret and third fret, rocking up and down. And by the way, um, Woody Man doesn't use that A chord, he uses this. 
for all the vocal phrases, the, 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 the accompaniment behind the vocals, it just keeps this doing for every phrase, for every sentence in the song. Uh, and my bow carter goes to that strange A chord very clearly. So let's play it one more time and slowly, and I'll sing also slowly uh, with it. Every verse is the same, so there are no differences, except that uh, in the verses where, for example, some low down scoundrel been fishing in my pond. Some low down scoundrel who been fishing in my pond. Adding the who's then um, makes it a bit longer, and you just keep on going as long as you want and go back to the E chord. That's the only difference uh, that I do. Um, and also in the last time, the repeat of the first verse, I added one phrase, uh, get your ivory soap and then go to bed your dirty self. That's the only difference. But it's simply this rocking back and forth that's a couple beats longer. Then we have the solo. Just on the side, Bo Carter, uses this 12th fret, 13th fret on the second string, on the third string, and the second string is open. It doesn't go down, it just stays there for a while. So that's the difference. And I go with the long A chord, uh, the A chord moved up to the 9th fret and 12th fret. So. That's pretty straightforward, alternating between uh, the 6th and the 4th string. And then to an uh, D shape, but on the 7th fret, 7, 8, 7. So, and I do a little roll here. You don't have to do that uh, on the eighth uh, measure of the solo. So let's play the whole thing again uh, as far as we got. And then I go to the A chord. And I change the alternating bass pattern. Uh, I go to the 5, 4, and 6th. And I, I, I pull, pulled off the 8th fret in the performance video. In the tap it's like this. And then we have again. And there's a difference uh, in the last beat. So I'm going to play the, the last measure. And instead of another hammer on on the third string, I do uh, open, open strings. Just a, a strum upwards and then immediately followed by the B7. I 
I've tried to do it slowly. It's a bit uh, difficult to play it slowly there, but one more time. There, that's right. Is if you play it slower anyway, is the, the 16 bar, the last uh, beat, where you play the same string, the 4th string, 4th fret, with the temp and the index. And in the 15th measure I played, open string after those bands. Okay, I'll try to play the complete solo one more time and as slow as possible. Is that long A chord moved up, so it becomes an E to the 9th fret and 12th fret. 7th. That D shape from the 7th fret to the 4th fret. And notice the mute. That's it for Old Devil. Great song by Bo Carter.